Hello, I'm Ken Ferreira, and I'm the Associate Vice President for Student Financial Services here at Franklin Pierce University. And I'm going to be presenting to you uh, student financial aid programs here at Pierce uh, to talk about financing and college financing and college billing uh, and how to uh, finance a Franklin Pierce degree. So on our agenda today is we're going to talk about what financial assistance is and how you apply what sources of financial assistance exist. We're going to talk about Franklin Pierce in the fall of 21. We'll talk about creative, personalized financing solutions. We'll go over our 2021 timeline, cover some important notes, and then identify where you can get some help. So what is financial assistance and how do I apply? Student financial assistance exists to help students and their families shoulder the cost of a college education. My office, the Student Financial Services Office, works in partnership with our families. We are a one-stop shop operation, and so at some schools you may have a financial aid office and a bursar's office or a student's account, student accounts office. At Franklin Pierce, we put all of those financial services under one umbrella, and so with a financial aid office as well as the billing office. Our philosophy is that we're your partner in this process. We always put our best foot forward. We have a collaborative relationship, a student-centered staff. We want you to call us. We want you to email us. We want you to visit with us. Never pay someone to help you file the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, because we're here to help and we're in this together. In this photograph are two of my assistant directors, uh, Cindy Frieda and Sue Connors. Sue Connors is in the red. She works with students whose last names begin with A through K. Cindy Frieda works with students whose last names begin with L through Z. That caseload philosophy that we have adopted helps to um, uh, shore up the fact that we are truthful when we tell you that we're your partner in this. Sue and Cindy will keep, your caseload, keep that caseload throughout the entire time the student is at Franklin Pierce. We'll get to know your family uh, as well as any special financial circumstances that may exist. Uh, and so we urge you to reach out to Sue or Cindy or any member of my staff because, again, we're your partner in this, in this process. So how do you apply for financial aid? Well, uh, you file the free application for federal student aid, and you can, file that on, you can find that on studentaid.gov and include Franklin Pierce's school code, which I've included on this, on this PowerPoint deck, uh, in order to um, have us receive your electronic results from the FAFSA. So you file the FAFSA, send it to the federal government, you include Franklin Pierce's school code, and the FAFSA information that you provided is sent to us electronically. Um, we receive it electronically daily and upload it to our system so that we can evaluate for financial aid eligibility. Some things to keep in mind about the FAFSA, however, is that it's a static federal form. So every student applying for financial aid from every corner of the country um, that is, is seeking federal sources of aid is, uh, is filing the FAFSA. And the FAFSA does not take into account special circumstances, like the circumstances that we're finding ourselves in. The FAFSA is based on 2019's income, so a year ago, almost two years ago, uh, with in terms of income, and and in a in a pandemic situation, that that could have drastically changed for a family. All the more reason to work with Sue and Cindy and me if there are special circumstances that the FAFSA isn't reflecting, so that we can hold your hand and guide you through this process. The FAFSA um, uses the data that you input in it uh, and applies a national formula that's approved by the United States Congress that helps to produce what's called an estimated family contribution. That estimated family contribution is what we use in order to determine eligibility for financial aid. Please work with your counselor, respond to requests for additional information, and if there are unique circumstances as it relates to filing your FAFSA, we want to hear from you. We'll hold your hand through this process.